Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming outside. I hope you can hear me. Uh, I'm hoping the wind isn't too loud, but I got a request on my Instagram for a mid-year homeschool update. We are past the mid-year, but I thought, you know what, that's not a bad idea. Back at the end of the summer, early fall, I went through our curriculum and showed what we were going to be using this year and per usual I showed you with bright eyes with high hopes of this being the best year ever it's Dr. Pepper trust me but yeah here we are I the the thought of even making a video never even occurred to me uh, to to make like a, a mid-year update what we're up to how things are going and I'll just I mean I could just give a brief update on things and yeah so let's get started this is our sixth year of homeschooling officially and I have a fifth grader and a third grader and we'll start with the fifth grader probably the highlight of his year he is taking an institute for excellence in writing iew class at um a little i don't even know what to call it it's not a co-op but it's 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 at a church where it's a program that they call it great commission academy uh, but they offer spanish logic biology chemistry art uh, writing. Uh, she offers writing one, two, and three using IEW and a couple other things. And he is loving it. We have never done an, uh, a structured writing program before. And if we're being honest, I don't really even know when that kind of thing is supposed to start. <laughs> but uh, he's a pretty awful speller, which I don't understand. But, uh, but still, he has I mean, he's he's an eleven year old boy. He has creativity out the wazoo. I, it's incredible, <laughs> some of the stuff that he comes up with. And I, and I know it's that's pretty typical with a lot of with a lot of kids. And I think I'm a creative person too, but not that creative. But the teacher who teaches it, she has been certified through IEW for sixteen years and has been teaching it. And I've had friends who have graduated their kids out of homeschool using her. Uh, or attending her class and uh, and they've just raved about it and Caleb loves it he she is such a sweet lady and it's it's one of those classes you can take kind of anywhere I think as early as third grade there's no way he would have been ready at third grade I guess some girls are probably ready at third, at third grade he was not um, but fifth grade has been the perfect time for him to take this class and she she tells the parents, you know, because we're the ones working with the kid throughout the rest of the week. She tells the parents, you make this what works for you and your kid. Uh, just, you know, do the best you can. And so she grades their papers. You know, he has to make sure that he's got a rough draft, an outline, a, a final copy. He's got, you know, an, um, a checklist, everything that needs to be on his paper. And it's been really good for him. Because he he has a hard time, which I think a lot of, a lot of kids, especially if they're maybe not great spellers. Uh, he has a hard time getting those ideas on paper as fast as they are coming out of his brain. So I've been helping him a lot, just kind of being his secretary, if you will. <laughs> and I just scribble things down. He comes with all the ideas. I kind of write down, you know, keywords as he comes up with them. So we've, we've very much worked together on this and, and it's been really fun especially the creative writing part of it. So anyway, I could go on about that, but it's been such a huge blessing to us to, uh, to outsource that thing. And we may do more next year because we've been very impressed with the quality of education at this, at this place and uh, maybe get Braden something there next year. Uh, math, we're in our third year of teaching textbooks. He's in Math 5. And he hates it, but um, I'm pretty sure he would hate whatever I chose for him for math because it makes him do work. So there's that. Uh, he's good at it. He's very good at it. Uh, I think, I think he, well, he's just like me. He's, I mean, shockingly just like me at his age. He can do it, but he just doesn't want to. And it's not fun. So he's super into Minecraft and 
like he, he got a Nintendo Switch last year and he loves to play that thing and but he almost exclusively plays Minecraft. He comes up with these incredible scenes and he he even has a notebook where he writes down plans. It's so cute. And he has friends that we plays with. Um, not like with, but like they talk about and stuff. Uh, what else? Let's see. The writing is taking care of language arts and grammar and all that kind of stuff. Um, and oh for we decided this year to kind of combine and this is for both of the boys combine the history and the read aloud and we started uh we f oh we finished oh shoot now i can't remember the fire the revelation and the fall by jenny l cody it was the like fifth book i want to say in the series and we finished that in the early fall um and then we started the Voice, The Revolution, and The Key, and we started that in like September, October, and we finished that just in January, the end of January. And by the way, guys, these, these books by Jenny L. Cody, we have read them exclusively since April of 2021. So we've read one after the other, after the other, after the other, and we have loved every single bit of it. Once you get past like the fifth or the fifth book or so, maybe even the fourth book, the reading level jumps dramatically. And so even understanding some of the stuff goes over my third grader's head. And that's that's fine with me for now. He's still getting the gist of the story, just maybe not all the details. And we're currently in The Declaration, The Sword, and The Spy. I think that's what it's called. Also by Jenny L. Cody. There's only one more book left in the series and it releases in September. So we are very excited, uh, but these books are absolutely fantastic. I've talked about them a lot on my Instagram and I highly recommend them for read aloud, especially the first two or three books reading to elementary. I think it's perfect for at the very youngest elementary uh, definitely give it to your seventh or eighth grader to read on their own and it's fantastic but if you let them read it on their own you don't get to enjoy it and I have enjoyed these books so much and you're thinking Rachel why does it take you so long to read them the last three books we've read have been over 600 pages each so that's why it takes us months at one or two chapters a day and the boys love to read it they play with their Legos while I read and they love it uh, let's get to Brayden. We have gone through so many different math things with him. I am looking to get some assistance with math. There's a school bus that my kids aren't on. <laughs> so I think, I think we may be dealing with some dyscalculia, discre no more dyscalculia with him. Um, but we kind of took it back to the basics with Life of Fred with him. Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever done Life of Fred with him. I did it with my older one, and we even got through, like, the fifth or sixth book. I don't know. And uh, before we hit teaching textbooks. And um, so we're kind of going around with things for him. But let me take a second to brag on this boy. Uh, he has He's always been kind of a late bloomer in a lot of things. Um, socially, physically, um emotionally a little bit and uh it was a point where I'm like why can't he read why won't he read and then I bit the bullet and I bought uh, all about reading level one for him and we started that in October and we were finished by Christmas he flourished now he was already I we probably could have started him at level two <laughs> But I'm like, nope, we're going to start at the very beginning. If we fly through it, great. Give him a really good foundation. He is a very much, he's a very kinetic learner, and he needs things to touch and feel and move. And so, um, so yeah, we did all about reading level one in about two months' time. No, about three months' time, because we started first week of October, I think, and then we finished it right before Christmas. And I immediately sold that to a friend, got on eBay, bought level two, and we started that. And here we are, first week of March, and there are 57 lessons, and I think we're on lesson 38. 
So we will definitely finish that before May. Um, definitely finish that before May. He does not like to read, but he can do it. He, um, I could, a lot of times what he'll do just to mess with me, he'll read an entire line and then like to himself and then he'll read it out loud to me really fast to just impress me. And, uh, but I'm super proud of him. You know, it was just his time. He's nine. It was just his time to start reading. And why, while he may not love it, he also would rather draw and play with Legos and play pretend and all of that, which is completely normal for a little boy his age. But yeah, we are, we're getting close to the end of things. And, uh, it's first week of March. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really happy. Uh, we are going to the homeschool convention, Lord willing, next month, and the boys love going to that. They went last year. They had a ball. Uh, their behavior was spectacular. It was it was the grace of God. They got along so well, and uh, I mean, honestly, it's probably because we had them separated most of the day. I would take one, and Mike would take the other, but we're looking forward to going again. It's just, if anything, it's a nice little getaway for the family, and uh, yeah, and so we're just going to keep plugging away. I'm already looking at a uh, different curriculum for next year because that's what I do every spring. I look for new things, new shiny things that a year from now I'm going to hate and I'm going to loathe. Not really, but you, you homeschool moms know how it is. You come into the year with great expectations and then reality hits you like a ton of bricks. Uh, but we, we have had, we've had a hard year, but I think this year, more than any other year, we've had more leaps in their education than we ever have before. More aha moments, and that's what you shoot for. So that door opening means it's time for me to go. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more. And leave a comment. Let me know how your homeschool year is going. Hope you're having a great day. Wait, bye. Change the battery pack. Okay, let's do it. <laughs>